All right, this video goes over uh, student drop-off in the morning. It's one of our biggest questions we usually get here at the high school, especially from our, our parents and then uh, our uh, new students. Just want to know how, how do I get dropped off in the morning? Uh, where do I enter the school? What if I'm a student driver? Where do I enter, enter the school? And what if I'm a bus driver? How's all that going to work? So let me go over um, student drop-off in the morning with you. So this is an aerial, aerial view of the high school. And uh, so let me show you here if you were an uh, an eastbound uh, driver, so you're coming from Hard Hardensburg, heading toward the high school, you would enter the school right here at this location right there. Uh, if you did, if uh, at that point when you're when you're driving in, you would just come in front of the school, take a right, and you would go in front of the school here, in this direction, in this area here. Now, if you were a, a westbound vehicle heading from Irvington, uh, Harned, Garfield area, heading toward Hardsburg or toward the high school, you would enter this entrance right here. At that point, you would then uh, come straight in and you all would drive right down the right side of our school here. And uh, you're going to go almost in the same direction. If you if you are a, uh, if you were a, a driver, a parent drop off in the past, you're going to kind of go the same direction. Now, in the years past, this is the part uh, point right here that you dropped your uh, child off. We're not going to do that this year because of all the contact tracing things we've got to do, take temperature checking. So we're going to then have you just keep on circling back around and act like you're leaving the school. And then you're going to drop off right here at this point, right in this area here. This is going to be uh, our new drop off area. This is the, the gymnasium doors to the, to the school. And that would be the area that you drop off. At that point, then you would then uh, exit back out of the building, uh, uh, like you, like you, uh, uh, like you entered. Uh, the only exception is we do not uh, typically we do not allow uh, students to exit back out here at the uh, uh, entrance from uh, all of our westbound traffic coming from Irvington toward the school. You would then need to come back up here to the front, and you would need to depart from the front of the school. So that is how we do our student drop off here at the high school. And uh, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to holler back at me. So uh, that is again student drop off from parents. Now, uh, bus buses, when buses enter, they all enter here on the um, uh, the, the east or the west side of the school. They would then come up through here and you would get dropped off at the, at the on the bus ramp. You would enter our school in the back bus ramp doorway here. Student drivers, you all would enter just like uh, Parent drop off. So you would, if you're coming uh, eastbound, you would enter through the school here at this location here, and you would come uh, all the way through the front here. If you're a westbound, uh, if you're a westbound uh, vehicle coming from the Irvington Garfield Harned area, you would stop. You would enter the school here. You would then drive on back to the back of the school, and this area back here is our student uh, parking. You would park here. Now our students are going to be asked to uh, enter. Our building, uh, our student drivers are going to be asked to enter the same place that student drivers are. So you all will enter here in the uh, back uh, middle or back gymnasium area. So that'll be where you would enter our school. Uh, so I hope that explains how we how student drop off happens. Again, if you have any questions about student drop off, just contact us here at the high school. Thank you very much.